Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Um what? Stall and <laughs> fuck up the intro. Yay! First Woo! fuck up the intro. Our first podcast no. of the new season of Game well, of Thrones. Yeah. Well no, On it's, it's our second. On the Is podcast, it? Did we do one? But... Yeah, we did one last Oh, you guys week. did one? Okay, okay. Yeah, I was... you, you were not feeling good. Oh, so yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Anyway, um, welcome back to uh, uh, the Diecast podcast of uh, Game of Thrones. Nerdgasm. Um, we were calling it Nerdgasm. Nerdgasm, that's I think right. That's God, what he wanted yeah, to it's been say. so long since we've done it, yeah. so, like, we should probably do, like, podcasts of other shows just so we don't forget, but, um. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, well, we, so. We were going to do that with. You know, Walking Dead, but that just kind of bleh. Yeah. Well, I mean, they already have the Talking Dead. I mean, that's how we kind of started was with, um, it's like, hey, why doesn't Game of Thrones have an after party sort of thing? <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe one day we'll get our own show. Yeah. <laughs> HBO! The Diecast yeah. on HBO. Yeah, HBO, get the fuck on it. <laughs> yeah, get on it. Get on our level. I mean, come on, you got boxing, why not dumbasses sitting around a table? Then I can forget the name of the show on national television. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> Wait, what are we called again? We're getting paid? What? <laughs> are we getting paid? <laughs> what's not the name? Anymore. Somebody not show anymore. me that check. It's Let like, yeah, you just cut anymore. your own salary in half for, for fucking up your own name. <laughs> but, yes. um. You had one job. You had. <laughs> had, exactly. You were. Had. But anyway, um, this is going over the second episode of Game of Thrones. Season five. Yes, yeah, season five. We we had an interesting episode. Way had a lot of fun. Time. Yeah. Oh yeah. The first episode was kind of meh, but it's well, understanding they had to set up. Some well, shit. yeah. We'll see. Like usually, like their big episode is episode nine every season, and episode ten is like this kind of the slow episode setting up for the next season. This last season, all the crazy shit happened in episode ten, so they had to have that first episode to set up for the rest of the season. Yeah. But um, yeah. So John fucking Snow is like. Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Yeah, how awesome is that? That's pretty sweet. I'm wondering how long before someone tries to murder him. Yeah, I mean, there's a he has a lot of enemies, but he also, you know, I mean, I don't know, murdering the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch probably, is probably not a great idea. But no, Alistair Thorne is definitely going to be pissed off about that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. And I loved the... Um, the, the puddle joke made by oh, um, yeah. Sam. Oh, that was Sam, that was epic. Sam tore Jano Slint's ass. Rude. I know. <laughs> what the, stop interrupting. If you were wondering, no. That sound is our crazy dog angry because she's not uh, getting to say anything about it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. That's... What do you have to say about the Terrells? What you got to say? <laughs> but yeah, Samwell Tarly tore Jano Slint a new asshole. Yeah. Like in true political style, Samwell just I destroyed really him. him. He uh like he yeah. proved to be, like he could probably you know, like politicians of Westeros, Samwell, you know. Yeah. yeah. His dad royally fucked up. I really by, think he did. Like, get out you you're fat and weak, get out of my kingdom. Um do you do realize you kicked out the best politician you could have? Yeah, he probably would have grew his father's lands by like double and you yeah. Know. Oh yeah, because he's he's a smart motherfucker. He's of course, fat and out of shape, but of course now, he's still. Yeah, the Night's Watch did make him grow up a bit too, though. I mean, he wasn't like that when he first got there. He learned to put his skills to good use. Yeah, but but yeah, um, I, I that's definitely like my favorite part of tonight's episode, just because I think that's fucking. See, I, I can't thug say life. my part. Until later, because my part has to deal with nearing the end of the episode. Oh, we don't have to go in order of how the episode. Well, no, no, I know, but um, so what do we want to talk about? What's the, what's the first thing we should, you know, kind of go about? We usually like pick a thing and run with it and mm. ask everyone's opinion. Yeah, like, what's your favorite? Yada 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 blah. blah. Well, I, went, I already said my favorite part of the episode. Uh, so, all right, so Angela, you're up. What's what was your favorite part of tonight's episode? I mean, we could ask Freeman, but no one gives a fuck about him. Yeah, no, he he's pretty much given up. <laughs> <laughs> we destroyed him on the first. I know the first. <laughs> he's just like fuck it, I'm out. I'm doing most of this shit myself now. Watch him. He he's the one who's gonna get the HBO show, and he's gonna be like, suck it, bitches. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know. My favorite thing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take your turn if you Aria was it. in the show a lot. That was my favorite yeah. thing. Well, anything but, about? <laughs> not really. Sp- I guess, um, I'm well... Jack and Hagar showing up is pretty cool. She found her friend. I was I was trying not to go to that because that's at the end. But yeah, I, gives mean, a f- I guess that was my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. The 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 faceless man showing back up as an old black man was pretty. His cool. name is nobody. No, yeah, his name is nobody. Yeah. Oh, I still see him as Jack and Hagar just because you know. Yeah. Jack and. <laughs> Well, nobody's easier to say, so yeah. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> well, well, you can't just call him old black man because you know that that uh, piss some people off. Well, also he's not. <laughs> so no, but he was. He was, was also, for a little bit. It yeah. would also be an actor. Like that was great. I wonder, does he have those masks like by the door? Like before he opens the door, he's like. All right. I know. Like he has like like ten alter egos he uses for different situations. <laughs> yes, I am Jet Manly. <laughs> Yes, in fucking exactly. twirled mustache and shit. <laughs> yes. Like I really wonder what he's got behind that door, and like we saw in the previews that well we heard in the previews someone was pissed off about Arya being there. Well, I think what it is is I have a feeling it's like everyone's sort of scared of him, so they know. I think it's like an assassin school or something. Yeah. So like apparently there'll be other like assassins there. Be like, oh, it's gonna be like a. Like a school. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to school. That's great. God, can you imagine high school with blades? <laughs> Anatomy 101. The heart is there. Stab it. Yes. Like, had my heart, had my, had my heart, had my high school allowed blades, I guarantee you, I, I would have ended up dead by now. Because, <laughs> like, half of them motherfuckers, oh, yeah, stab, 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 stab. And hopefully stab. none of them are listening to this. If you're listening to this, it wasn't you I'm talking about. <laughs> That's right. You know the girl. Um, Hopefully that picked up on the mic. <laughs> right. I think it probably did. But um, yeah. No, I thought that was really cool. I mean, just like, because we haven't seen him since season two, the end of season two. Yeah. So like him just being like, hey, I'm really glad like the actor came back. Yeah. I was, su- I was super excited about it because I didn't think he would. I, I thought he was he was probably one of those characters that were just gone, and that was gonna make me sad. Yeah, they were gonna replace him like we thought like they the did actor. with um everyone. Yeah, well, I mean, they recast like at the, the beginning of this one, this season, we thought they replaced Worm. Yeah, Grey Worm. Uh, Grey Worm. Yeah. I, mean, I was they, about to say Worm Tongue. Like I mean, worm tongue. you know, I get it. They they recast the Mountain. They recast Daria Naharis, but they recast the fucking Eerie. <laughs> If no, if you go back and look at season one and then season four, it's different. They like redid the whole fucking thing. It's like that's one hell of an interior design with, that you can rebuild the whole fucking eerie in like however much time. Like, you know passed. what? Move this moon door over here. But, we don't want them falling. You know, we we we've got to have the proper um. God damn it! I'm trying to think of the, the word for um having things placed right. It's, um, Location. No, well, no, it's the um, it's to deal with like zen and oh, um, the right feng shui. Yeah, the feng shui. That's right, the right feng shui of the room. Is it feng shui or feng shui? I have no clue. I've just always heard of the shui. Feng. Yeah, the, the shui. The, there's no longer the swag. There's the shui. Yeah, I got all my shui right shui here, life. bitches. Shui life. I didn't choose the shui life. Shui life chose me. <laughs> that's awesome. But um. So no, I mean like I'm I'm really happy they got him back and didn't like recast yeah. him. We're just like, oh hey, that is that guy, but uh, he's yeah, an old black man now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really glad they brought him back. Um, me personally, I guess we'll go to this. Um, I was happy to see the reappearance of the Queen of Dragons or the Mother of Dragons, whatever, the, the dumbass that pissed off all the dragons. Yeah. Final nine slavery chained up ass dragon. Show up and Reappear like, was like, I'm not going to eat you, but fuck you. I'm out. It's like, hey, here's my hand. Meh. It's like, nah, <laughs> no, I'm not going to eat you, but you still locked my brothers up. I don't even here. know if he knows that. He, I think he's just, like, completely uninterested in what she's doing. Yeah. He's just like, I'm sort of, Mom, I'm doing my own thing. I'm yeah. doing dragon stuff. Doing dragon yeah, stuff, I'm doing Mom. I'm dragon stuff. What do you, what do you get out of here? 
God, don't you knock. I'm baking a child here. I'm going <laughs> to eat this. You took my last one, you're, bitch. You're ruining my life, Mom. Yeah. And punished. She punished his siblings. Yeah, yeah, I know, and they didn't his, even do for anything. For his cooked baby. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, it's kind of suck, because, like, um, I, like, I don't know if they said this in the show, but in the books, they let, they let you know. It's like, if you let a dragon, like, just, like, like, roam around free, like, out in the open, like, they don't stop growing. They yeah. just go. But, it, like, their growth is not depending on, like, food. It depends on their space. So, like, the other two are going to stay the same size. <laughs> You don't get that till after the podcast. <laughs> she, and she crawls on the table. Like, this is mine. Me. <laughs> she's. It's a character. It's an. It's an additional podcast yeah. member. Do, what do, should we do name you want to be locked in the dungeon too? You can go without seeing light as well. Sir, Sir Squeaky McGeeky. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna call her um Squircy 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 Cersei. Squeaky Cersei. She has some loud opinions. About tonight's episode. Yeah. Well, of hey, course, Susie. Susie hey, how do you feel about anything? <laughs> <laughs> um, another fun thing is, um, I, oh, I don't know how much fun it is, but like Brianna Tarth is like straight up failing her job. Yeah, it's like yeah. she that ran into good. both of the living star girls who she was like sworn to protect, and they're both like, um, I will choose the Hound and Littlefinger. Yeah, for like. <laughs> I, I will choose yeah. the murder. I will choose the murderer and the child molester They're over both you. Sort of bad guys, and like, no, yeah. I'll just stay with the like bad the guys. one. I, I'll choose the pervert that's twenty years older than me and wants to fuck me, and I'll choose the guy that's kidnapped me over you. Right, like you have failed in your job. Yeah, I I will protect these girls as long as it's not I'm against psychos still and in pedophiles. Because I thought her story was gonna fizzle out. I, yeah. I don't know. I just felt like it might, but I think it's just gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a, just a whole season of her like chasing Littlefinger, like give me that girl back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just gonna be following them, shadowing them. I think. And old Podrick being cheesing it up again. Yeah. Screening as yeah. they as they travel along. <laughs> and poor, he cannot win. Like he finds the girl that his master's searching for. His master fucks it up, and somehow it's still on him. It's you know what it's kind of kind of reminds me of, like the uh, Don Quixote. Yeah. Because you have, like, this old knight who's fucking stupid as shit. And he's, like, this well-to-do guy. And he's, like, thinking, like, windmills are giants and stuff. Then you have Podrick being like, um, yeah, this is what's going on. Brian's like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I'll beat shit with rocks and claim my fortune. <laughs> Brian, make fire. Yeah, seriously. She is a very... I like her, but she's not she, doing... It. She's doing a bad job right no, now. No, yeah, she, she has she's, to, like, she has to have a duty to someone in order to function though. Like, no. I'm not yeah. sure what she would do if she was just free to no. go about her Yeah, business. like if if that king had not, you know, bit it by the demon shadow and like if he had died and she not ran into, you know, of course Lady Catelyn, God knows what she would have done. She probably would have ended up at like a Suzanne Fabrics beating people to death for stealing. Because <laughs> really, like, without being told what to do, she has no, you know, no kind of guide. Yeah. And I, I like her. She's an awesome character. She's a great actor as a person, but it's just like, no. Yeah. You, 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 you fail at your job. Well, hopefully she'll, like, redeem herself. Um, yeah. Another one of the best parts of this episode, I mean, we just think the best parts of the episode are pretty much going over every scene almost, yeah. but um, uh, the exchange between um, Lawless, Braun, and oh, um, and Jamie, I'm just like... <sighs> yeah, that was she funny. was just talking and talking, <laughs> wasn't listening to a word. And I like potatoes But I like how bodies. he very smoothly at the end you know, got into the conversation, like, no, I've been listening the whole time. I know, right? Yeah. He's just like, no, no, this is what we should do. That'll be a great castle for us. I know, he's so much more interested in, like, thinking about killing her sister than, like, yeah. anything she has to say. Mean Pete, you're a good person, and she's a cunt, and cunts get what they deserve. In the Bitches end. get stitches. Yes. Bitches get stitches. Well, in her thing, it'll probably be bitches get tossed out a window of a high castle. Yeah. You know who didn't get a lot of screen time today was, um, 
Um, Tyrion. No, Tyrion. He, he, only really... got the, he only got the one scene. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just which so... it was a good scene. It, was, it well, really I mean, like, was a you dialogue. Put, you put driven. those two together. I mean, Varys and, and Tyrion. Yeah. I mean, like they're practically made for each other. Mm-hmm. You know, like any scene with them in it, it's just gonna be like freaking TV brilliance. Yeah, like really, you put the ballless wonder and the conniving midget together, and you just have gold. Like, yeah. and that they, they were both an amazing like. If neither of them w- wins an award for that scene, it's fucking bullshit. They'll 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 probably win some. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some pretty epic dialogue between the yeah. two of them this season. So far, I think like they're almost like building up to how awesome it's going to be. Yeah, because like that was an amazing. Like they were just. It's like, are you really going to sit and stew in your own self loathing this entire trip? Mm-hmm. Well, why shouldn't I? I've got wine. <laughs> oh, there's a bug in it. <laughs> Careful, you don't want to eat anything that's not. Fucking alcohol. <laughs> right. That was that was actually really good. The yeah. careful you don't want to eat any solid food. And we, and we know that Peter Dinklage is laughing his ass off this season. Because I've heard the guy who plays Bears is the biggest fucking clown when it comes to just like behind the scenes. I've heard, in fact, that he hides things up in his robe like sandwiches. <laughs> he has the long robes, so like between takes, he'll just be like he'll take his hand out of his robe and he'll just have like a sandwich and just start eating it between takes. That's great. He's just like, and then good sir, flink sandwich. A, he he actually reminds me a lot of that character from Rama that has all the stuff in his sleeves. Um, goose. Um, mo- <laughs> moose. Oh, no, goose. no, yeah, moose. Close. But, but I mean, like, if I mean, if I wore robes like that, he just like pulls stuff out of his sleeves, and he's always got his hands like that, yeah, like Varys like does. Yeah, yeah, like I mean, if I had a robe like that, I would have sandwiches in there. Yeah, granted, I don't think that Varys has ball and chains yeah. and you know all the things cow that Moose pulled out, out of his sleeves. That things, would be awesome. Cow traps just pour out of his sleeves. All the things that Moose pulled out of his sleeves. No sandwiches. There was a duck in there. there was weapons. Weapons, eggs. No sandwiches. Oh, here's here's a scene I'm pretty sure we all liked was uh, Cersei's uncle telling her to fuck it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, um, I rec- I do not recognize your authority, niece. Uh, you can just pretty much suck a big old dick. Yeah. I'm going to do my thing. It's fun watching things fall apart for her. Yeah. I, mean, like, I think this is going to be, I think it's going to be a really bad season for both Daenerys and Cersei. I have a feeling they're yeah. both going to have some rough seasons. Well, see, my original prediction for this season is she will end up dead. Is like, Cersei? people or... don't, yeah, Cersei. People do not respect Cersei. She is... She was allowed because she was the king's wife and then the king's daughter or king's mother. Yeah. And then well, he's the still hands. The, he's still the king's mother. It's just but like she doesn't have... They don't... Here's the thing. Tywin Lannister is but a big of a shit as he was. He kept things together. Yeah. He, he was a bastard and a monster of a man. But he was good with fucking people. He yeah. knew how to lead. Like, honestly, like... He knew how to rule. I yeah, mean, he was he was a I mean, shitty he, man, but he was a good ruler. I mean, he may not have always done what was best for the people, but he knew how to keep shit together. Yeah. He knew how to... I mean, he was a strong leader. I don't know how, like, w- like good of a... You know what yeah, I'm no, like, I can't Like, he say wouldn't have been doing, like, stuff for, like... He wouldn't have been doing... He wouldn't have really given a damn about the people that much. But he would have been more concerned about his own legacy, but by... Having a good legacy, he had to do things right. Yeah, he, he, he would have had to have watched after the people to an extent. Then, yeah. well, with Cersei, and if she gets any kind of power, yeah. the people will be her stepping stone. Yeah, where she's just like, I don't want to well, step in the mud. Let me use your skull. Yeah, and so like that's what the thing is. Like she doesn't understand is the people are your country, and if she doesn't respect that, they'll be like, hey. Fuck you. Yeah. It's like, you know what we did with the last guy that fucked this up? Right. It's like, he kind of got a sword in the back a couple times. Yeah. I can't decide if we are supposed to like Stannis or not. I think No. I, absolutely um, not. I kind of like him. I feel like uh, I would like him if he ditched the crazy... Yeah. If he like, ditched the whole Lord of Light thing, I would yeah. like him. Yeah. He's a bit, if you he's could, a bit serious, but I... He's still, you know... Um, yeah. Yeah. He's a little bit of a monster, but he's he once again 
he's not a bad ruler. He's just naive when it comes to the things that he buys into. Yeah, like if he didn't have the whole Lord of Light thing going on, I would, you know, burn yeah, people to stake. Yeah, that's why I keep yeah. thinking, like, minus that, he might not be such a horrible guy. No, he, I, well, here's the thing, is he's harsh. He's a little too harsh. Like, he's kind of like the same way Tywin was. He wouldn't really care about the people that much because he's harsh. Yeah. You know, he kind of had, like, almost, he almost had, like, a sense of, like, Joffrey where it's like, I'm king, you will listen to me. Yeah. So, it, I don't know, it's just... He, I don't know. I kind of I like. I'll tell you. That, I'll say it this way. I like his story. Yeah. I like what's happening there. As far as possible, rightful kings are. I would rather have Stannis over. Um, God, what's her actual name? All I know is Khaleesi. Um, Daenerys. 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 Yeah. Um, I would rather have him over her because she. Is not a good leader. Yeah, she's she's not. I mean, like it's all well and good that you show up with dragons and that yeah. you have a good name and yeah. It, like, it's, and, and, and you know what? She's a great person. Like why? Yeah. Too. She's see the thing is she's ruling by conscience, and the unfortunate thing is you can't always rule by conscience because no. it doesn't always work. Like she did what her conscience her conscience told her to do, what was you know right, and yeah. uh, the whole city broke out into riots. Yeah, she was like, all right, this guy killed a prisoner, was supposed to be on trial, and I yes, mean, that we, should have happened, but I mean, that we, should have been handled differently. I mean, that shouldn't have been handled in public eye. Well, we remember what happened the last time a leader killed someone who murdered a prisoner, Rob Stark. Yeah. And um, Carl Stark, he, uh, you know, he executed him, uh, his people fucking left, and then you died at the Red Wedding. Yeah. So. Like it really, it kind of ascended. Well, for I him. keep I keep reminding Amortis that um, you know in the book she's a child, and if you th- think of her as a child, her decisions make sense. She's not I, a child in the show, but I really don't want to think about her even as a child in the show because I've seen her boobs. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm with I'm the, with the Dread Warden here. I don't want to think about child that's boobs. Not even what I'm talking about. But yeah, no, the, the stupid, stupid decisions make she sense does. because she's she's because she's, she's like at this point. 15, 16? And, yeah, so she's like 15, 16 year olds are now like, selfie! And she's trying to run kingdoms. Yeah. So. <laughs> Dragon selfie! Oh, God. <laughs> Dragon. Oh, no, why are you flying away? So, I'm trying to take uh, So it makes sure. sense. Uh, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's a little girl, but. In, in, on HBO, she's not, so. <laughs> so Jorah's like, they're dragons, Khaleesi. You can never tame them. <laughs> oh, really, Jorah? I thought they were fucking platypuses. Yes. <laughs> it's like fucking teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I wonder. I wonder where uh, Sir Friendzone's at anyway. Yeah, what do you think he's doing. I don't know. Wouldn't it be great if he just snapped and had like the overly attached girlfriend moment where he just murders her? <laughs> like she comes out, I love you. Shake, 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 shake. I don't really want Daenerys to die. I just want. I want her. I want, okay. I, I want her story to change. Like the story arc that's happening now. It's like okay, everything's yeah. all shitty. It's like, can you try going back to Westeros now? Like, the original plan? You only got, like, a couple more seasons to get this shit done, girl, you know? Yeah. But I'm just, yeah, and I'm really not pleased with how she's handling shit and how she's she's done a very poor job of damage control. And really, when you're a leader, that's your well, biggest... You, you know what she's like? She's like Robert Baratheon. He's a great conqueror. Yeah, oh yeah, she but did he fucking at, great at that. But, but after that, like, what do you do, you know? She yeah. just doesn't know what to do. But she, maybe she'll grow into her own. Mm-hmm. Maybe she'll just, you know, I don't know. I think more likely she'll end up like her, what was it, father, stepfather, the Mad King. Oh, uh, her father. Yeah, okay, her father, and end up shivved in the back by someone I she will, I will say, mistaked. I think... It's not impossible that she is trending towards madness. Yeah. Well, that's possible. I mean, like, that that's a thing that happens in their family. Yeah, she could... I think it's possible. What if she goes crazy? Oh, my God. What if she, like, goes crazy and she becomes the big bad? That would be awesome. If she became... See, and I would like her more if, if she, she stepped into... Villain. Like, what? Oh, that would be fucking cool. And then... Think- Oh, sorry. Continue. That would be that would be like that would make that like that would just shift all of Game of Thrones into one thing. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah. Fanfic. <laughs> and then 
Nerodia here would love her because she's the person with the abused past that becomes a monster. Because <laughs> God Psychology. knows. Psychology. There's already several of those in Game of Thrones. Yeah, that that's the reason you like, like the some Hound Snow. The Hound. That is that is Ramsey, not John. Ramsey. God, can you imagine John Snow and Ramsey I mixed into horrible. one character? I feel horrible about the fact that I enjoy Ramsey so much. I mean. Yeah, we it's, just played a game where he shipped a child. Well, see, that's that. the thing. He's Game of Thrones does a good thing where it makes villains that you love to hate, but villains that you love to love too. Like, like if we really look at it, the Hound is a villain. He's a bad guy. Making the villains oh, yeah. entertaining, you know. And fun. But that's the thing. He is Ramsey is entertaining. I mean, like my favorite. I think my favorite moment in all of Game of Thrones is when he's like wiggling that sausage around. <laughs> I want a gif of that. It's just like cut. Like I want that to be like the background of my phone. So like my my phone is just always like wiggling a sausage. You know. I love his face and how delighted he is at the horrible things. I know. He he's just <laughs> he's a really fucked up individual. Yeah. He he. And actually, he, he's not a snow anymore. He is. Yeah. He, he is. He is, is a Bolton. A Bolton. Now. Yeah, he was definitely a cat in his last life. Right. He, he's sitting there like, I'm going to kill you, but I'm going to bat you around, cut off your penis, and beat you with it first. <laughs> Sick bastard. And we do get to see Theon next week, too. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, yeah that I saw that. Fun. Just like for a split second on the trailer. Does anyone else want to see like a Theon redemption story? Anyone else? Um... Uh, I, 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 I'm kind of past it. I was yeah. hoping that that would happen, like when he had him uh, pretend to be Theon again. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was hoping that when he went to do that, he would like break free, but like, he didn't snap happen. Out and I was like, eh. oh wait, uh, I used to have a dick. Murder them. Yeah, it's like, oh, where'd that go? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah. So no, I think it was. Uh, I think it was uh, th this. This week's episode was really good, really entertaining. Um, a lot of fun shit happened. Um, so much better than last week. Well, you yeah. know, last week was the setup, and then but this week was like the reward, you know. And yeah. they had to do that pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I did really love the one where they had Grey Worm was hunting for the guy, and he's like, "You know your problem." Like the other mercenary was like, yeah. "Your problem is you don't know fear." So you don't know how to hide. And then he just stabs some guy in the wall in the fucking kneecap. Yeah. It's like, there you go. Peace. Uh, I also love, oh, it's a tie. And Eamon is just like, boop. And he's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. and I love the look on his face. Oh, he was he fucking too. giddy, too. He's like, I did things. <laughs> He's like, like yeah. guess oh, he, what? He cheesed it up so hard. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think he, you know, when he's blind, I don't think he even knew he was cheesing as hard as he was. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think that's I think I think that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna really enjoy Jon Snow's arc now. Cause, yeah, you know. But what do we have as far as time? Um, we're we're closing on it. We can call it if we. I think we've covered. We've, we've covered pretty much everything. We've covered like theories and and favorite parts and everything. And um, so yeah. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Nerdgasm with the Diecast, as I believe we're going to end up calling it. Well, we, I, we well, won't it forget what we've been it calling it. It was the it. name of it, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, tune in next week, and we will probably have sporadic ones of these not about TV shows, but right now we're still in that kind of blah phase of... And hopefully we'll be able to get, like, maybe some people on Skype or friends over yeah. to, to increase, you know, panel every once in a while. Have a couple guests on. Yeah, um, that sounds good. Yeah, we were talking about that last time. Yeah, yeah I just Skype. fucked up and forgot to message anyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully we can, you know, one day, you know, get get some people on, you know, and everything. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. That, that sounds good. We will catch you all again next time. We thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the channel. We're going to have plenty of awesome stuff coming up. In between Game of Thrones done by Telltale Games, we're going to have That's awesome. um, Dragon Age Inquisition going up. We've got a lot of stuff coming up here soon, Mortal Kombat 10. So we'll catch you all then. Click it.